Welcome to this presentation. Here in the next few minutes, I'll talk to you about our paper titled Kosora, a database of breathing, cough, and voice sounds for COVID-19 diagnosis. This work is co-authored by Prasant Krishnan, Rohit Kumar, Sreyas Ramoji, Srikant Raj, Nirmala R, Prasanta Ghos, Sriram Ganpati, and myself, Neeraj Sharma. We are affiliated with the Department of Electrical Engineering, Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore, India. The COVID-19 acronym was announced by WHO on 11th February 2020, and since then has been trending across the globe. The impact of COVID-19 has been enormous in terms of number of cases, which have crossed 10 million, casualties, which have crossed 1 million, and socioeconomic factors due to closure of economic activities and educational institutions. On top of this, the end is still not visible. And this is even more alarming. Every day, we are learning more about the infection, symptoms, and its long-term impact. The current gold standard approach to diagnosis uses the real-time RT-PCR test. This test, which is like a miracle obtained from research in biochemistry, is not easily scalable to conduct rapid tests across populations. It violates physical distancing norms, takes hours to get the report, and is not cost effective. Alternate screening and testing methodologies can significantly supplement this approach and help in containing the spread of COVID-19. In this regard, we are interested in finding out can respiratory sound samples help in detecting COVID-19 biomarkers. Apart from COVID-19, as of 1st September 2020, from this figure made by informationisbeautiful.com, it is striking to know that amongst the top four diseases contributing to casualties per day, three are associated with respiratory infections. Hence, we think that a deeper understanding of respiratory sound sample acoustic attributes in the present times is needed. And if any of these disease biomarkers are detected, it will help to design cost-effective screening or diagnostics tools using sound samples. Coming to the scientific rationale, let's understand how the respiratory sounds are generated. The sound production system draws contributions from a number of organs, namely diaphragm, lungs, trachea, larynx, pharynx, tongue, nasal cavity, and lips. You may note that most of these organs are not solely dedicated for speech production. For example, we use mouth for eating and lungs for purifying the air. But if any of these organs get adversely impacted, we often see deviations in speaking style, breathing rates, and also release of new sounds like coughs and sneezing. Lungs have elastic properties. These expand during inhalation, drawing air inside, and contract during exhalation. The released pressure passes through the trachea, larynx, and all the way to the lips and nose before we hear it. When we cough or speak, the opening and closing of the glottis, which is housed in the larynx, also comes into effect, adding additional pressure variations into the exhaled air. We can see some of these variations as, as temporal and spectral information in the recorded sound samples. To a little extent, this can be seen in spectrograms. Breathing has a wide band, noise-like short time spectrum, Coughing displays harmonics and first and two formants. And also there is a time gap between coughs. We usually take deep inhale and then make two to three bouts of coughs. Sustained phonation displays rich harmonics and formants. The ability to sustain also is related to the air capacity of the lungs. Counting displays the dance of formants and harmonics. Also the pace of counting can reflect the breathing rate of the individual. To see more, we may need to use information extraction methods for machine learning. The engineering literature contains several attempts on respiratory disease diagnosis using cough, breathe, and voice sounds. The diseases include pertussis, COPD, tuberculosis, asthma, and pneumonia. However, many of these studies have been on small subset of individuals, less than 100. Nevertheless, the performance reported hints at a potential use case. Recently, for the over the past five months, there have been attempts to understand COVID-19 biomarkers using respiratory sounds as well. 
However, all these are work in progress and have reported some degrees of success with limited data set. These are yet to release any public open source data set. In our study, we focus on creating a large sound, sound database composed of metadata on health status and nine different sound samples per individual. To facilitate the creation of the database without much hassle to the participants in the times of pandemic, we launched a website. This website requests five to seven minutes of time and collects metadata on age, gender, geographical location, health status, and nine different sound recordings. The collected data is stored in our server, periodically curated by manual listening and verification of quality and released in GitHub for open access. Currently, the Kosora database has recordings from more than 1,000 individuals, broadly categorized into healthy, those with respiratory ailments, and those who have tested positive for COVID-19. We launched the website in April 2020, and the data is being periodically curated and released for public access. We are hopeful this large data set will be useful in understanding the acoustic properties of respiratory sounds and evaluating their potential for respiratory disease diagnosis, including COVID-19. The data collection effort benefited from publicity and social media, outreach through local newspapers and IRB approvals from local hospital authorities. The data corresponding to collection till 7th August 2020 has samples from 941 individuals. These come from across the world and the majority from India. Within India, we have statewide distribution with a peak from Karnataka, which our un university's home state. A majority of participants who are healthy and span a wide age group with a mode between 25 to 35 years. Also, the majority of participants as of now are male. The release dataset has gone through a cycle of quality check through manual listening. For this, we designed a GUI allowing playback of audio samples and assigning labels for quality and type of distortions, if any. Visualizing the annotation labels, we find that a majority of audio files are clean. Also, the participants have followed the instructions as was inferred by the signed labels and the duration of sound files. In total, we have 76% clean files, 13% noisy files, and the remaining files are bad due to recording malfunctions. All the sound files are recorded at 48 kilohertz. To evaluate the presence of any acoustic feature level differences amongst the nine sound categories, we attempted classification of these sounds. We used a 500 millisecond window for spectral and temporal feature extraction. The corresponding confusion matrix on the test data is shown on the right. We can see that it is domi diagonally dominant with most of the confusion between categories of similar type. For instance, breathing is confused with breathing shallow and counting slow is confused with counting fast. All the vowels A, E and I are, uh, have a good uh, uh, recognition performance. We are continuing the data collection, curation, release and analysis effort as of today, we have added 80 plus COVID positive data samples and the healthy population has exceeded uh, 1000. The to top right figure depicts uh, efforts for activity segmentation. The bottom left depicts distribution of average pitch across participants. The two color corresponds to male and female. We can see that there's a, a widespread in pitch values for both male and female participants. The middle figure depicts the first form and distribution for the sustained phonation E. It falls in the range uh, of what is known in the literature. The bottom right figure shows the average harmonic to noise uh, across sound categories. We see that uh, speech sounds have significantly higher values than breath and cough sounds. We are working on analysis and model building in search of biomarkers for COVID-19 in these sound samples. To summarize, uh, we discussed about scientific rationale for 
respiratory sound sample collection, the efforts in creation of the course for our database, a description of the data set, and the work in progress. Before I end, we'd like to acknowledge uh, Anand Mohan for enormous help in creation and launch of the website tool, which helped in data collection. All the participants who have contributed to this database, our annotators, Chandrika Thunga, Sonali Singh, Sakya Basak, Venkat Krishnamohan, Cheswant Reddy, Ananya Muguli, Anirudh Sriram, and Anagha Rajiv. Please do follow the links below to see the application and contribute uh, your respiratory sound samples if you haven't yet. Database or reach out to us directly. Thank you very much.